So a few days back, we saw the official launch of Xiaomi Mix 4, Samsung Z Fold and Z Flip and the partial launch of Pixel 6 series. So yeah, the point is with all these devices live, the iPhone 13 is already looking old fashioned. Yes, some of the features might excite some of you like a not so small notch, new camera placement, iOS 15 and of course 120Hz ProMotion display but overall it's not something which can stop Samsung or Xiaomi. Shockingly, new survey from Cell Cell says 44% of iPhone users plan to buy the iPhone 13 series. Yeah, this came as a shocker. Now some hot news coming in which may make you wanna skip the iPhone 13 series. So news from Apple leaker on Twitter shows the display design of iPhone 14 variant. You can see we have a hole punch display and there's another cutout that is for Face ID. So if all goes right, it is gonna look somewhat like this. In a recent tweet, he says there's 70-80% chance Apple is using this design. 120Hz LTPO display this year. Right now it's LG for iPhone 13 non-pro variants and Samsung is the one working on the iPhone 13 pro variant with LTPO display. Finally he says Apple won't do in-display face ID or even touch ID right now so they'll go with a capsule cutout for the face ID and sensors. Some news on the iPhone 13 series, so last minute leaks and changes. New report from Bloomberg says the iPhone 13 camera will have ProRes and portrait mode for videos. The Pro resolution can shoot videos in high quality and later you can edit them without losing much details. Portrait mode will add this blur bokeh effect, so I guess something nice for those who use iPhone to shoot movies or music videos. In addition to this, more photo filters are coming too. They also confirm small notch, 120Hz high refresh rate for pro variants and A15 Bionic Silicon. So yeah, pretty much all is confirmed but honestly speaking with the launch of Xiaomi Pixel and Samsung, the iPhone 13 is no more something to be excited about. The Apple iPhone 14 however is something which may bring drastic change in terms of design and performance. Latest news from Digitime says TSMC is on its way for mass producing 3nm process for iPhone and iMac. Yeah, we are surely seeing 4nm process in MacBook next year but looks like Apple might break the barriers once again and use 3nm fabrication process in A16 or M2 CPU. Some news on the software side, iOS 15 beta 5 is now official, comes with some small changes, fixes and new icon for web application. Yeah, these are you can say stability improvements and patches. The main big changes are gone with the beta 1 and beta 2. So this all guys, thanks so much for watching latest news on the iPhone 14 and iPhone 13. Which one would you pick? Your thoughts in the comment section and I'll meet you guys in the next one. Peace out.